Hello everyone, this is Super Comic Girl. I'm back with another video. So I do videos several times a week. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you wish to subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. So I'm doing a review of Miss Marvel issue number three. And this continues uh, her period where she is trying to learn to not only control her powers, but also to better understand why she got them. So, uh, people are still talking about the mist, but they're also talking about Miss Marvel or Captain Marvel and about how, you know, she saved, you know, she saved uh, someone's life and everything. And while, unlike in the television show, you um <clears throat> you had uh her kind of like just imagine what life would like be like if she had superpowers she's not really <clears throat> um she she really doesn't she really can't come to terms that she actually has them now so uh, this is a really great uh, issue. I really did like the penciling and the ink work and the story because this is basically Kamala just like just going through this period of ups and downs. Her body is still getting used to having this ability. She actually is the one who says that she's a polymorph um, and, you know, it was really interesting. There's a little frame that says Fear the Mist. <laughs> Even though the mist is gone, um, it's, uh, it, it was really funny. It was funny. Um, it's like one of those end of the world type of people, like Fear the Mist or, or, you know, all the other type of stuff. But, um, I really, like I said, I really did enjoy this issue. Um, So, in the, also the thing in this issue is Kamala is still really upset with Bruno for telling her parents that she was at the party. Uh, I think that she feels like that Bruno couldn't trust her, that he's becoming, he's too overly protective of her. Um, she gets detention in this in this issue uh, because of her powers, um, and uh, we also we also introduce we also get the first uh, side you know, for, not side sorry the first time that we see her mosque. So we definitely you know if you didn't know that she was a Muslim, you definitely know now, um, and it's really interesting. is, um, is, you know, you have the partition and Kamala's trying to, like, talk to her friend Nikki about, um, about, you know, different types of things and the, uh, head of the mosque, I can't pronounce his title, he's like, no talking, no talking, no talking, um, but yeah, uh, it was funny. But uh, like I said, overall, it, it, it was a really great issue. Um, I really did, in fact, enjoy it. And, um, but yeah. So I'm going to give this uh, issue five stars. It's really great. Um, I will end it on this note by saying that uh, at the very end of the third issue, she appears in a more up-to-date version of Captain Marvel's look, which is great. Um, in the uh, Japanese anime, you saw uh, Kamala wearing Carol Danvers' more modern costume, which uh, or outfit, which uh, I really I thought she was really cute in. That's just my own uh, personal opinion, but um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, she hasn't yet mastered her abilities. Uh, she has, has 
hasn't yet controlled them, so they're kind of a little bit out of whack, but I know for a fact as we progress in the story, definitely we're going to see her having a lot more control over her abilities. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and until next time, nerds, read on. Bye.